Welcome to my Thursday video series where I share examples that you could use at work to make your messaging sticky. Today's example is about career trajectories. Careers are no longer linear ladders that need to be climbed. More often, they are like a rock climbing wall or a jungle gym with lateral moves, adjustments while switching tracks. And while the aspiration is, of course, about moving from the bottom to the top, it might look very different for various professions. Recently, I was chatting with someone who experienced this as she changed professions. Marina is in her late 50s and is currently working in the International Development Office of a U.S. university. In the course of our conversation, she mentioned that she started her career as a violist in a symphony orchestra. That spiked my curiosity to ask her about the career switch and this is what she had to say. One day when I was in the orchestra, our cellist decided to go wakeboarding. Now, he was not a seasoned wakeboarder and as a result, during that particular trip, he lost his balance and in the process broke a few of his fingers. And that was the end of his career as a cellist. That incident made me think about the fragility of my own career as a violist, and I realized that I needed to diversify my work. So I started to explore other roles, including being the manager of an art ensemble, move on to doing business development roles, changing tracks to working on grants, working with family offices, and now working here at the university. And what she said about how she equipped herself was even more interesting. And she said, in the course of all this, since I didn't necessarily have the skills for all the roles, while I kept applying for these roles, I also kept studying, doing my MBA in art administration and then a PhD in philanthropy studies. What a great example of working to have a portfolio of diverse careers and managing to equip oneself for it. I use this as an example to share with my mentees that what you've initially studied at the school or at your university need not be the only pathway open for you. My own career is an example of this. I'm curious to know in what other context at work would you share Marina's example? Do share with me in the comments.